Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today in this video, what we're going to be taking a look at is building one of those things you can see behind me, which is effectively, uh, if you've seen the attack triangles that various different training aid websites sell, like X Hockey Products, there's a bunch of other retailers that have them. It's effectively a uh, make-do pair of legs with a hockey stick in it, and the idea behind it is that you're meant to stick handle around this object visualizing as if it's a defensive player in front of you and you're learning how to put the puck underneath them, lift it over their stick. But what we have behind us is effectively a moving version of that, where the arm is connected to a window wiper assembly and swings left and right, acting like a defensive player. So not only is it incredibly addictive and a lot of fun to play, it's super easy to make, and especially with what's going on in the world right now, a lot of us being trapped in our houses, not being able to go very far. This is something that we've been able to build with scrap parts that we've been able to pick up either at local building merchants, car scrap yards, or even things that you can get on eBay. If you have a family member that's into repairing cars or maintaining cars, everything that we've used is probably something you'll be able to find in their garage. So let's show you exactly what we've done to be able to create what you see behind me. And a quick shout out to Brianna on Instagram, who reminded us of this idea. The video was posted a couple of weeks ago. We wanted to give credit and link the video down below, but for whatever reason, the link is no longer active. So if you know the Instagram account of the person that did this first, make sure you link it down below. But I will mention the original inception for this idea came from a product that I saw online. Um, I believe it was X Hockey Products again that made this, that had a stick on a mechanical device that swung left and right. I remember it being very expensive and everything we've made behind us total was less than 60 pounds. So let's show you exactly how we set it up. A quick side note, as we go through all of the different tools, the materials, what we've used to be able to create this moving defensive player, I want you guys to add in the comment section how you'd improve it, what you'd do if you were making it, and if you can, or you feel like it, make sure you make one of these and tag us in it so we can see your own creations, how you'd improve it from the design that we've made, maybe how you'd control the speed of the swinging stick. Let us know what you guys create in the comment section down below. In terms of everything you need to be able to build this, I'm gonna link everything down below in the video description as well as also showing you the tools that we use to be able to construct everything that you see and also the scrap pieces of wood that we use to be able to build the actual frame. Essentially, it was four pieces of 600 millimeter wood that you can pretty much find at any DIY store or luckily if you have scrap pieces lying around in the garden or in the garage, that will come in handy as well with an additional two pieces of 500 millimeter size wood. Again, all of the details of what we've used will be down below in the video description. Essentially, the hardest bit of building all of this was figuring out the height that you want the frame to be at, which we assembled from scrap pieces of wood, and also the angle that you want to mount the window wiper assembly to the frame. Why this was difficult is that you need to figure out how long a stick you need to be able to attach to this entire contraption to make sure that the stick blade is flat against the ice or the surface that you're stick handling and practicing on so it doesn't lift up. If you look at the original video that was posted on Instagram, as the stick blade swings left and right, it does lift up a little bit. So what we were trying to do was find the optimal angle to be able to put everything together so the stick blade didn't lift up off the ice or the ground in this case. The next thing that we ran into after being able to figure out the right angle to be able to have everything set up at, and also the right height to build the frame at, was figuring out a way of being able to slow down the window wiper assembly. Because we didn't add anything like a speed controller to be able to slow down the speed of the arm swinging left and right with the stick on it, we didn't want it to be too fast. At the end of the day, I'm not Pavel Datsuk, I can't stick handle that quickly. The way we tackled this, making sure that we kept everything at a very low budget and also made it very simple for us to piece together, was just by adding additional weight onto the arm of the window wiper assembly. We did this very crazily by adding a spare jack that we had in the trunk of a car. We literally used cable ties and also duct tape and clamps to be able to attach it onto the frame of the window wiper assembly. So we'd weigh down the arm of the assembly unit to slow down the speed. We also then wrapped a bit of additional lead that we had lying around in the garage around this entire jack and also the window wiper assembly arm to be able to add more weight and slow down the speed of it swinging left and right. After doing all of this, we pretty much hit a perfect speed to be able to stick handle comfortably, but still being able to challenge ourselves really well. In addition to the 600 millimeter and also 500 millimeter pieces of wood, we also added additional pieces of wood to the sides of the frame, just to add a little bit of stability. We kind of went a bit nuts here. We judged how much we needed to add by turning on the actual assembly itself and seeing how much it pivoted and tipped over while it was swinging left and right. It's also really important to mention after you've built the frame, figured out the right angle, the right height, assembled it all together, you are gonna, aside from adding additional stability pieces of wood to hold the whole thing together, it might be a good idea to add some sandbags or any type of weight that you have to be able to fix the frame to the ground so as it's swinging left and right, it doesn't tip over. 
For our example, we used two toolboxes to mount to the back of the actual unit itself to add a bit of weight and more stability so it didn't rock around or vibrate while it was swinging left and right while the motor was on. And we also actually put the power unit, which in this case was a car battery or a used car battery, onto the body of the frame as well to add more additional weight. After this, we also added a ratchet strap to be able to strap the toolboxes to it so there wasn't any movement. So if we had the motor going for quite a while, we didn't have to worry about anything shifting and falling off of the actual frame of this moving defensive player that we've built. So also in regards to all of the tools that we used to assemble this, we also used a little bit of wiring to be able to power the actual window wiper assembly unit and also a used car battery to be able to power the entire thing. Of course, this is where your creativity kicks in. If you're using this or creating this unit for younger kids, a car battery might not be the most ideal thing to power it. If you have any other ideas of what you could use to power it or the way that you'd like to be able to give power to the window wiper assembly unit, or if you have other ideas of what to use to make the stick swing left and right, please leave your comments down below. Now, in terms of actually using this moving defensive player, we can call it, it's been a lot of fun. It's very, very addictive because using things like the attack triangle, it's a stationary object. So it becomes very, very easy after a while to be able to stick handle around it, chip the puck over it, move the puck around it in different ways because the object isn't moving. It doesn't really add a lot of complexity or difficulty to what you're doing. But the second you add this stick on this moving defensive player that's swinging at quite a high speed left and right, it's so much more complicated because aside from being able to be very, very quick and reactive, you also have to work on timing. You can't just move the puck underneath the stick or you can't just chip the puck over the stick blade. You have to time it right. Otherwise the defensive player, or in this case, the stick on the end of that motor will just smack the puck and it will go flying. So working on your timing, your responsiveness, your reactiveness, it's, it's just a hell of a lot more fun than working with an object that doesn't move. So using something like this at home isn't gonna help you just develop your stick handling. So you're working on hand-eye coordination, you're working on your peripheral vision because at the same time as being able to stick handle left and right, you still need to be able to glance at where the stick is going next, how far in the swing it is. In addition to this, you're also gonna be working on your general fitness because it is a sweat, it is a workout, moving left and right, bouncing up and down, being able to move the puck in the right angles. Because you can choose based on the stick length and the size of the frame that you build, you can have that stick swinging at quite a big distance, which means you have to add a lot of movement into your stick handling. So you're working on a crazy amount of skills while having a fun time and all of this can be done from your home, in the garden or in the front of the house. There's so many different skills that you can work on, whether it's toe dragging the puck around the swinging stick, or if it's being able to time it right and chip the puck over the stick blade, just general side to side stick handling, a bunch of different skills that you can work on. It's so much more challenging having to stick handle, working on timing, speed, reacting so you don't get caught out by the swinging stick. It adds so much more complexity to just stick handling around a stationary object. I hope you guys take note of what we've built in this video and make sure that you run with your own creativity and your own ideas. We're not telling you that this is exactly how you have to build it, this is just a very, very quick mock-up of what you can do and what you can achieve just off of ordering parts off of the internet or finding salvaged or spare parts around scrapyards or recycling centers. What I want you guys to do is see what you guys can come up with, see if you can improve the design, see if you can make it better. How would you control how fast or how slowly the arm swings left and right? Would you use a different power source? Would you use a different frame? Go nuts with this idea while we're all locked up in our houses and see what you can come up with. But leave any comments down below of how you would improve it if this was something that you'd made. Or if you do make something like this, make sure you tag us on Instagram, Facebook, or even on YouTube so we can check out your own builds. A big thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. Thank you again to Brianna for kind of like reigniting the inception to build one of these things. It's been fun doing this and it definitely beats just sitting around the house doing nothing. Sometimes training at home can get quite repetitive and boring. There's been a lot of great videos online that have been posted by lots of other creators showing you different things that you can do at home to stay fresh while we're off the ice. This is definitely a great way to do that. Make sure you thumbs up the video if you enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Hit the bell so you can be notified when I post a new video. And as always, guys, thank you for watching and take care till next time.